Let's Sherlock's home taking possession. Taking possession. I was awakened by the message taking possession. So I ponder and wonder, can a person take possession of a person, place, or thing, or persons, or place, places, or things, or elements? History has proven it has happened. Now, as a born again person, preacher, teacher, one must have faith. So I initially looked up Both words, taking and possession, of course we know taking from the, even from one of the old unabridged dictionaries, is a present participle. It's an action word. Now when I looked up the word possession, it's from the same dictionary as well. As I mentioned above, it comes from the middle French, which means to hold, and from the Latin, which I love, it says able or having the power. We're talking about taking possession. Moreover, possession is the act of Holding, occupying, and then interesting in the dictionary said a taking possession. That's what it said. <laughs> That's when I knew I was right on point. In one, one of Shakespeare's plays, Juliet says, I have bought the mansion of love, but not possessed it. The title of this message is Taking Possession. So she didn't possess it. And you know, Romeo and Juliet, only way you can consummate a marriage or make a marriage complete, you have to consummate, in other words. I know the little ones are probably saying, what is consummate? You can tell them later. <laughs> in fact, they might hear it in school anyway. So, in other words, for anyone to take possession of anything, especially born-again Christians, we must have faith. It's imperative. As we know, all humans, they're in their right mind, if they're in their right mind, possess faith 
in our time, we probably did things unconsciously. And we actually employed faith. I'm still Sherlock's home in it. Faith. Some would ask, what is faith? I said it in my own words, and I thought I did a good, pretty good job. Listen to it. Faith is a possession of trust in a person or persons or places or things and elements. In the world, a lot of people achieved a whole lot of things because they had faith in themselves to do it. Now, for born-again Christians, our faith is in our Lord Jesus Christ. In the Bible, the King James Version especially, there are several verses that say the same thing. The just shall live by faith. You might want to look in Galatians. You might want to look in Romans. And you might want to look in Hebrews. Google it. Taking possession is the title. Taking possession of faith by actions. Faith is not complete until one takes action. In the book of Hebrews, many believers exercise faith. The writer says in the book of Romans, the 10th chapter, verse 17, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Now, the King James Version says it a little funnier. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Note that I'm only coming from the King James Version. I just know how to say it in the modern version. So after viewing faith, I look at the book of Hebrews, the 11th chapter, verse 1, and guess what it says? Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. And hopefully I'm quoting his other part, right? For by it, the elders obtain a good report. Through faith, the worlds were framed by the word of God. So still people might pose the question, what is the message taking possession? What is that message? Take possession of faith. Take that faith. In the Lord Jesus Christ, while you live on this crooked world among wicked folks, among wicked rulers in our country and all over the world. David says in Psalms, the 23rd, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want so when he says that his Lord is his shepherd, 
he explains to you that I shall not. He said personally, shall not want. Guarantee, I won't lack, in other words. David didn't just say faith, but he possessed it, faith. We have to go from faith to faith. Google that in the King James. You'll find it. We must, if not already, obtain faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. We must maintain it through any trials in this life. The title of this message Taking possession. Don't ask for it. Take it. Carry it. Use it. Many of you all are trying to get through things to get through education, get through life, get through personal life, and all of those things. And some of it, you might just need some professional counseling, not only from the church, but from the community professionals can walk you through some things. Yeah. And you have to have faith that you'll be able to do those things. When I was growing up, it was a negative community. I stepped out by faith that I possessed when I was a very young man, six, seven years old, going to this apostolic church in my hometown. I trust in Jesus as a little man, little boy. I kept that. That's what I'm talking about, taking possession. I took possession of it. I used my trust in the Lord, in my sports, in my, in my uh, school to get good grades, to maintain good grades, and when I had to go through certain things that was my, was my fault and my grades would drop, I would bring them back up. Then I had enough nerve to go to college because I possessed that face. I, it's called taking possession. I didn't have it just for a minute. I had it for as long as I was a little man until I grew to an adult. And now you have to keep possession of faith. I know some of you all was unfortunately, unfortunately didn't have a loving family. You were brought up in paganism. You were brought in in other religions. You were brought in witch, brought up in witchcraft from all all over the world. You were brought in um, so many other things. You were abused, this and that. But when you hear the word of God, take it, possess it, believe in it, and then you'll be taking possession. Hold on to it. Regardless what happens, so I covered a lot. Thank the Lord. So you have to understand that everybody that loved the Lord in the New Testament didn't just show up like that. Mary Magdalene, full of unclean spirits. The Bible said he had, she had about seven of them. And Jesus drove them out. And Mary 
walk with Jesus through faith. Even after death, Mary wanted his body, Magdalene. So she was taking the possession. She had faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, even after he was crucified. She believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. Taking possession, go through this video again. If you didn't get it all, go through it again and again. Share with others all over the world. The Lord will get an interpreter for them. Share with your family members. Sit down with them. I have a lifetime experience in taking possession. I love you. We're going to Sherlock's home some other chapters and Bibles in the Holy Bible of the King James Version. Stay with me. Love you. I'll see you again. Bye.